first I'll do the vinegar based one. This is my most the most basic all purpose cleaner that you can make. And um, what I like to do, because if you don't you, you can use essential oils and I think those are fantastic and I love them, but if you just want to, you know, reach into your uh, your fridge or your kitchen, you know, citrus is always easy. So what I do just to get the most bang for my buck is I'll soak the rind in um, the vinegar or the vodka, whatever I use. And um, so I'll do one part um, vinegar or vodka and then one part water. And then, um, and that's basically it. And so I'll basically, um, you know, steep the rind or the herb. Um, we'll do an herb one for the vodka um, in the vinegar. I don't, I, one other reason why I prefer vodka is um, I don't like the vinegar smell as much, but if you soak it, uh, if you soak the rind in the vinegar, it'll go away. It's still faint, it's still there. You can still kind of smell the vinegar, mm. but it's a lot of, um, it's, it's, it's pretty citrusy. Have you ever used vinegar to absorb smell? Um, it's recommend, like you have a close up a house, Oh, that makes sense because I mean, painted the smell oh. as they go mm -hmm. jars of vinegar around and it sucks up the smell. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then it'd be good too with the citrus in there. I'm a lot better at it. Yeah. Yeah, both. Like, yeah, <laughs> or you fried chicken and you can't stand that greasy smell. <laughs> oh, that's great. Huh. That's really good to know. That's a good tip. Um, so, again, I'll pass this around to you. Oh, and it's and then I put some eucalyptus earlier. And so. how do you steep it? Um, I did it, it's not long. You can do it for, I mean, it's uh, the strength that you like, but maybe like five minutes. This has been a couple hours though, because I made it earlier this morning. And so it's um, about, I did uh, about a teaspoon of um, eucalyptus oil and a, um, a half a rind of an orange, a fresh orange. Oh, and I'm, I'll take your email addresses at the end and send you the notes. I just didn't want to make a bunch of printouts just to save paper and save and keep these free. So but you can sell around. It's really strong. So you really don't smell the vinegar too much. You smell a lot of the eucalyptus and then the citrus kind of comes in right after that. How long can you, is it good for? It's good for a while. I did an article, um, someone did an article, my friend did an article, I'm not going to be like, someone did an article on me, but my friend did an article, <laughs> um, and she needed, she needed a subject, so I was her subject, and I told her it's really best for like, weekend, like if you're doing a big spring clean, to keep it fresh, but honestly, like, if I, if I don't use it all, it lasts kind of a while, like I go through it a lot, because I use it for everything, but like it'll last. I, I actually opened up a bottle that I forgot about. It was in the back. Whoa. And um, it uh, it was like a month. It's been a month, so it still smelled really good. Mm -hmm. And I just strained out. Um, I strained out the rind because mm -hmm. if you put any organic matter in there, it's probably gonna brown and just turn yucky. It's mm -hmm. not gonna make it not work. Mm -hmm. It's just like not. It's not cute, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Um, and you use it on all kinds. Of Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a, this, I like to, I mean, like, it's just really, it's what you think of as clean and, like, the sense that you associate. So, like, I think of, like, like, citrus is, like, wood, wood things or, like, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And if I really want, like, um, like, if I really want it to feel like it's, like, disinfected, and, like, so I'll use, like, my stronger, like, the vodka one, I'll use, like, mint tea tree, like those really like antibacterial um, things. Um, the cleaner you found a month later mm -hmm. that had been strained out of any... Strained out, yeah. Beforehand? Beforehand. Okay. But the, uh, the mix was made about a month earlier. Um, not refrigerated? Not refrigerated. In the cabinet, the bottom of the kitchen sink. And it worked fine. So, um, so what's the eucalyptus oil for? Um, I just, again, I just kind of like it. It has a, um, I guess, camphorous quality to it, so it kind of clears yeah. out the sinuses. It just is very, um, I like this blend because it's really uplifting. I mean, you know, that's sort of like the other side. So to give you energy to clean. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> we could go way, we could go way into the rabbit hole here, and I like, I like, you know, like, oh, like, I like, I like citrus in this because of this, because it makes me feel uplifted, and then maybe you'll put some, like, different like gem or stone essences if you want to get like optional hippie magic to like really like boost it. 
<laughs> um, that's what I'll, you know, so, um, yeah, or like, you know, when you're cleaning, like, have like good, like, intentions, like, oh, I'm gonna clean my space, and it's just like very, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it makes it more pleasant. And then, this was the, my, my friend's article, that you, you make the vodka cleaners and you celebrate with a cocktail. Yeah. So at the yeah. end of her article, we actually did, we, we drank the, the cleaners after we cleaned a little bit. To, I mean, because it was completely yeah. safe, so you just put it over rocks and <laughs> it's a good day. So. <laughs> um, but this is vinegar, so I don't know, maybe on your salad, I guess. But, um, yeah, so I guess, let me see, yeah, let me just keep one, I'll just make, I'll, I'll make it in here, so I'll just add the water to this and maybe we'll, like, we'll clean some, we'll, when I'm, after I make the mint one, we'll, we'll clean, like, the board or something like that, so you can see that it, that it does, in fact, work. So, I would strain that and just put that in one of these, one of these bottles, so. What you were saying about the citrus being a clean scent is, uh, says to you that something is clean, as my daughter and I were up in Sonoma, and you know how people spend citrus in water a lot? Mm. Probably is when you're going to a restaurant where you serve wine, you don't want, you don't want acid in a water, you want to clean it. Uh, well, it's spicy, it just like plain water, but what they had done is, mm -hmm. we took a sip and we were having some cheese and everything, and this is a really clean feel to the tongue, kind of clean the tongue. Mm -hmm. They had taken a little sprig of rosemary, mm -hmm. dropped it in the water, and I tried it at home, it's like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it sends, it, 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 the oils get in the water, mm -hmm. so when you drink it, it actually cleans your tongue and everything. Huh. And I left it in, I thought, well, that's so good, I'll just, I'll be good here all night. Then it was way too much. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. water. Yeah. So like 20, 30 minutes, exactly. and it's a much, and never exactly. before any restaurant have I ever seen um, where they did the rosemary, with that quality of water. If people put the lemon, I think, oh, this is wonderful, but if you're having wine, you don't want mm. an acid. You want a neutral. And that was, I thought, a really nice touch to that. Yeah. Um, mm. another Which lends itself right to your cleaning. Thing. Totally, exactly. Um, another good thing, that just uh, reminded me, rosemary oil, or rosemary in general. So I mean, you know, all these plants have oils. That's why you muddle them in a cocktail, and the essence of it comes out. I make it into a cleanser, and it, you know, it, it's a, uh, you know, it, it helps to clean. Um, rosemary is an excellent preservative. So if you are doing a long term, if you want to, if you don't think you'll use it all relatively soon, and you're going to use natural, um, all natural uh, ingredients, rosemary is a good additive. To, um, as a preservative. Um, oh, um, and but if you do decide to use essential oils, which I love, I, I have a million of them actually in my, in my little collection. Um, this will, it, I think it lasts indefinitely. I mean, like I have no idea how long it really lasts, but i it's months probably. Where you get them? I order these online from Organic Creations. Mm -hmm. Maybe that from <laughs> from the. I'm not endorsing it, but I I think it's. For, I, I found it, and it's like a really inexpensive, relatively inexpensive for organic essential oils, and um, you know, made in Oregon, not super close, but close-ish, and um, yeah, so I get a lot of my stuff from there. Um, so what, what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna again do, um, I'm gonna do a, a vodka-based mint cleaner, so kind of same deal, about a, you know, half a cup, cup, whatever you decide to do, and vodka, and then, um, and again, just like bartender, kind of muddle it to release the oils, and you don't need, it's funny, because you don't need, I mean, much time or much organic matter, much herbs to to make it smell really minty and good. And then it's, it gets really fun because then you, you can start to play.